Welcome back. It's 938. A taste of autumn this weekend as the Lincoln Square Ravenswood Chamber of Commerce is hosting its 34th annual Apple Fest. And we've got your preview courtesy of Executive Director Rudy Flores. Good morning to you, Rudy. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Sylvia. You know what? Timing couldn't be better. I know you plan it this way. The weather is going to be perfect. We're already feeling the, the, the faint hints of fall. So you guys have been doing this, though, for a long time. And it's pretty special because I know some people plan this every year. What makes it so special? Why do people keep coming back? Yeah, so the, the festival started only as a little event in the plaza in Lincoln Square and it's expanded over the years. And um, now we have four farms, um, lots of different restaurants and businesses all doing apple themed items, different food. Um, so we're really like yourself, we're bringing it here in Lincoln Square right for you um, and your whole family and friends. It's a great time just to get together. Um, there's a lot going on this year. We're happy to bring it back after the pandemic. You can see um, these great apple pies that you can pre-order that entire pie from the chopping block. Um, you can get apple bread pudding. You can get loaded apple potato soup, which is new this year from a new restaurant called Cobblestone. Um, apple cinnamon rolls from a new vendor, Edge of Sweetness. I mean, there's just so much that you can get um, and experience, and it's just a fun time. Yeah, you know, I'm looking. I've had those chopping block apple pies, and yeah, I can understand that might be one reason why people keep coming back. They are absolutely delicious. But you have 50 vendors. Anybody new this year? Anything different that people might not expect? Yeah, so um, Old Town School of Folk Music and Timeless Toys have partnered together to do all of our kids' activities. And so um, we're bringing back Wiggle Worms, which is a very popular class at, uh, at Old Town School of Folk Music. We're also going to have West African Family Dance Thing, which is something new this year that will be pretty exciting. Um, we're going to have roaming magicians and jugglers and a couple of guys on some stilts walking around as well. So that's going to be something new for everybody. Um, and then we also have our annual Pet Pooch Costume Contest. Um, that's on Saturday morning. So it's everything's not just for people, but bring your pets and costumes. There's a lot of uh, cool prizes you can win. Um, Boulevard Vets, a new um, business this year that's participating is doing a all weekend long um, pet photo booth. Um, so there's really a lot of uh, fun for, uh, for your animals, for your kids, for your friends, and lots of different hard ciders as well. So that's also fun with the Northman, um, Aris Cidery, um, as well as Rice Cider, which are all local right here in Chicago. Oh, it sounds absolutely great. Okay, give us the times and dates so people can head out that way. Yep, this weekend, it's Saturday and Sunday from 9 to 6. You can go to applefestchicago.com and learn all about the festival and see what we have to offer. Sounds like fun. Rudy Flores, thanks so much for joining me this morning. Have a great time. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Appreciate it.